Hello everybody, GamerPenny here bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy 14 online let's play and we are back with Vesper and today we're gonna go into Matoya's Relict. Let's register, grab Elfino and Alice and was it Graha I think was our tank? <laughs> How cool. Oh my god. <laughs> right. To begin with, I need you to gather a few ingredients. Listen well to what the Porogos say, or you'll wish you had. <laughs> okay. Things first, we need to harvest some clay. Clay can be had at the clay clock cauldron ribbit through the portal, if you will. The music. <laughs> Clear out any pests we encounter. Aha. Raha! Help me! Following the Pirogo. Raha, if you would. Oops, round button. What did Alice say get hurt there? Might be why. What else you know? So I think I've said this before, but my mom is playing um, Final Fantasy. She's having a great time with it. it I, I come in and I'll beat the hard stuff for her. <laughs> she's not she's not the best gamer, but she likes doing side quests and stuff. Which is that's really fun and she's really into the story and she's up into Heaven's Ward. Whoops. I didn't realize it. She's up into Heaven's Ward in Azislaw. She's not having a great time in Azislaw, <laughs> so I have to go in and um try to maneuver for her. I'm kind of just letting her do her own thing, so even things like getting the flying. I told her how to get the flying, but she she's not doing it, which is fine. She doesn't you don't need the flying, and the flying's usually only after you're done with the story and stuff. So I'm not gonna tell her how to play my way, but she um she absolutely loves Elfino. <laughs> 
which okay i get it mom i get it he's a cool character she he's her favorite for some reason i <laughs> don't know why i guess when i think of like favorite characters i don't think of alfino I could not imagine, like, the story without him, so... There's something to be said for that. Like, he's not a disposable. Yeah, son of Ziggy. is um, amazing <laughs> in here. I love it. There we go. Um, do I remember this fight? No. No, I don't. We're gonna zoom way out and get going. I think there's something to do with those balls in the holes. These balls in the holes. Balls to the hole. Uh -oh. Thanks. Okay. I'll say you might want to move away from him when he One man has lost some strain. Too bad. Let's give them a show. I'll say.
the healing to me. Leave the healing to me. Almost got him. There we go. Theony. <laughs> this doesn't give gear. This dungeon doesn't. Next, we need to get the water flowing again. Back here again and on to the next text. It will be my pleasure to show you the clear note cauldron. Ribbit, please use this portal. That gushing sound must be a water vein. your coffer. Oh. I was going for the treasure. Healing ring. the lift. Ribbit. Okay. Go ahead, Graha. I think I'm remembering how to do my AoE rotation. <laughs> Under the effect of astral fire. Thank you. 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Graha! Ew! Okay. We get the blizzard. We get us to full mana. We're gonna do a ton of these fire twos. Do a xenoglassy. More fire twos. And then we'll do flare. And then get our mana back. Two of these. Then go back to fire, Dino Glassy. Fire. Then we can switch to this fire, although we could have done fire too. Okay. I'm getting it. The treasure coffer up there. Whee! Necklace of casting? Oh, it's not better than what we have on, but I have better... Oh no. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Got red pants on. Go get him, Graha. Okay. Start with the blizzard. We go into fire two. Then we do flare. We do back to blizzard. all the way up there. I did one too many blizzards. Go back to fire. Get a Xenoglossy out there. Continue on with fire two. Get our mana back. No. that thing in the middle. <laughs> I sense a mischievous presence, Ribbit. Please take care of it. What is that? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I remember this. Okay, there's gonna be a water or something coming in from the sides. Alright, let's go. Quick blizzard. And we get all of these. Good there, I Just guess. the beginning. Okay. We want to be over here. Where'd he go? More water. We need more water. We gotta get up there. Get all these unfinished Nixies. Oh god! That's not what I wanted. No, oh, my water is gone! That would probably kill us if we were down there. Okay. This. <laughs> Don't. This is my spot.
I let my Anakin fall off Release. there. Okay, that side. Go down here. I'm getting it. <laughs> there we go. All right, all right, I give up. You win. Oh, poor Nixie. Er Heirloom Beret of Aiming. What are these? What uh, item level? I'm staring right at it. I can't see it. F 45. I got 500. Okay. Makes sense. And the pants we have on is 520. Step right through, Ribbit, I will guide you safely to the Kiln Fire Cauldron of Fire. Oh, jeez. Okay. Good heavens, is the magma rainbow colored? Spectacular. Hey, Raha, do you really have to <laughs> notice that? Of all the things to notice? Why- see, why here? Why can I not use this? That makes no sense to me. Now I can. You have to have a thousand? I don't know. I don't know why. Uh oh. What the ribbit? Magma can't stop us, Ribbit. <laughs> Guys, get out of there. Elsa, you stood right in that. Leave the healing to me.
Okay, so I'm down to 1,000. Now I should be able to do flare. I'm on someone. Alright, more baddies. Some puddings. I think that's it. I think you have to have... can't have zero mana. You have to have... but I wasn't on zero. I was on like 600, so I'm thinking a thousand is where you want it. Right now it doesn't. And pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm a horrible black mage. Don't look at me to how you would play this class. <laughs> thunder. Change it up for a little bit and throw a thunder out there. Oh, he didn't like that. Love the music <laughs> if you haven't, uh, couldn't tell. Okay, that takes care of the kiln, Ribbit. All right, it's time to bake ourselves a porksy. Oh, look at him sitting right there. <laughs> Sorry, popped my knuckle. That was probably really loud. <laughs> right then. Let's get this over with. Porksy. Newborns are wont to be difficult. <laughs> Sure, who's in charge? <laughs> Mother Porksy. Por porcine Porcelain. Mother Porksy. Alright. Do I remember what this one does? Woe be gone workshop. Oh. I don't have a clue what this one does. Yo no sé.
Okay. Got the good battle music too for this one. No, come back here. Kill it, Alice. Okay, so it's gonna be moving that way. Over here again. not stand right on top of me when I have my ley lines. Idgits. Baby Porksy, Mother Porksy. Dun, dun, dun. Twitching. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Then all that remains is for me to imbue her with the magic. My friends, I'm afraid I must trouble you for your ether once more. Of course. You don't want mine? Oh. 
that should suffice. Good. Let's set her to work then, shall we? I want to see some porkses. Assuming that is, someone can spare the requisite energy. A mere drop in the ocean for the great sorceress Matoya, I dare say. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> now we're all going to be exhausted by the end of it. Excellent. Our very own litter of Angelos. <laughs> and we can make as many more as we want, simply by providing the mother porksy with additional ether. <sighs> I will require a moment before I try again. It's still hard work, but a damn sight more efficient than making them one by one. Thank you, Master Matoya. Everyone, we're a step closer to our goal. Distributed amongst the Allied Nations, they should do much to facilitate closer dialogue with the Beast Tribes. And given their present travails, I believe our friends in Limsa Laminsa should be the first beneficiaries. Hmm. Agreed. Though I must leave this errand to you. I doubt my legs will carry me out of the cave, much less to Vilbrand. Thank you for taking the lead in gathering the ingredients. I expect you would benefit from a rest, too. I mean, I wasn't the one that gave my aether. No one even asked me for my aether. In addition to the porkses, I trust you've gained an inkling of how much effort goes into the creation of familiars. Or mayhap you attribute your struggles to old age. Oh, damn. <laughs> Burn. If I said yes, would it persuade you to treat me like an adult? <laughs> <laughs> Not with that pertness, it wouldn't. Anyway, assuming you have no other favors to ask, I shall be leaving. <laughs> I love Matoya. <laughs> Okay, we've got the porksies. Lest you wonder, Master Matoya has returned to her cave with Yastola. Mm hmm. They are peas as peas in the pod, are they not? PC avatars. Trust. Well, then, my friends, let us return to Limsa Laminsa and deliver the good news to the Admiral. A word. Uh, to the officer in Bulwark Hall should be sufficient to secure us an audience. Okay. I'm gonna do that, but... Not right now. Right now... Nah, let's do it right now. <laughs> so, uh, I changed my mind. Um, here. <laughs> Um, full work hall. Right up here. Sage's path. Oh, that's right. We could become a sage. Why, Vesper, ever a welcome sight. Tidings for the Admiral, you say? She is presently receiving guests, but for the Scions, I know she will make an exception. Follow me. I guess we could scroll back. <laughs> uh huh. My friends, what brings you here this day? To 
Is this true? By the navigator, a cure for tempering. As often as I've been in awe of you, Scions, I would not have thought it possible. And yet it is, Admiral. We have done it. Here in Limsa, and production of more familiars has already begun. You have my thanks. Truly, this will do much to advance the cause of peace. Yet I fear it will take more to close the rift twixt man and beast man. Bah, even to speak thus divides us. Welcome as it is, a cure will not guarantee reconciliation between our peoples. For though summoning and the tempered may serve to fuel the conflict, they are but symptoms of it. We are to resolve the primal problem once and for all. We must address the cause. We must strive for mutual understanding and find a way to leave our bloody past behind. Twas I who moved that the Alliance renew its push for peace. Since our ancestors came to these shores some seven centuries past, we Lamentsons have been at odds with those who share our island home. Save for a brief moment of cooperation with the kobolds, our history has been one of nigh-constant territorial squabbling. Meanwhile, our struggle with the Sahagin for control over the seas has only grown fiercer, a matter made worse by the thrice-damned calamity driving them to seek new spawning grounds. With survival at stake, each had no choice but to fight, so I dismissed peace as impossible. Impossible is a word coined by the weak, I proclaimed to all who'd listen and then gave up. You and yours put me to shame. Since you led us to victory against the Black Wolf, you have achieved the impossible again and again and again. And I thought it high time that I followed suit, hence my proposal to the Alliance Council. But no sooner did I reach out to our neighbors in Vilebrin than my own people sought to thwart me. You speak of the pirates who failed to attend the meeting. Aye. Acting through a friendly faction among the kobolds, we had intended to seek an audience with a prominent patriarch. But the bloody executioners would not hear of it, and their absence sent a message to the rest. Though they are but one of three pirate powers, they are the greatest, and any attempt at peace would founder... Founder? Without them? Flounder, maybe? I am given to understand that their leader, Captain Hilfer, has been bedridden for some while with an ailment of the lungs. Correct. In his absence, his right hand leads, a man named Sickard, but recently risen to prominence among their ranks. Save for his disdain for authority, little is known about him. We have invited him to speak with us more than once, but he will not come. I have tasked the Yellow Jackets and the Rogues with uncovering his motives, but they have learned not of any value. Leave it to us. We have a nose for the truth. Whatever the Sickard wants, we'll find out. Truly, I am much obliged. I shall look forward to hearing what you learn then. Good luck. All right. Well, we do do we will do that, but we will do that in the next episode. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy 14 online let's play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.